why did Factory diversify into clubs and video, etc.? Um, I think basically with that, I mean, there was, it, we, we had to. I mean, there was lots of people had different ideas, and we had to think of ways of spending your money. Spending the money, so <laughs> we spent them on the ideas, yeah. About the club called uh, the Ponderosa. No, it's, it's a hacienda. Oh, it's nice. yet to be built. <laughs> I think it's uh, yeah, it's a good thing to open a club. I don't think the club is quite right yet. Why did you presume to think that you could fill a, a building of this size with just the groups that you like? I, I didn't. I never presumed. I Who's just fault, is it? It's, it's, um, it's mostly New Order's fault, really, in Gretton. I'm by blind them entirely. As far as I was concerned, it just had a lot to do with my budgets, you know which suddenly vanished down a hole in the ground called Hacienda. Is the club actually making a profit now? No. It's not making a profit? Not as yet, cos... there's a lot of... it costs a lot of money to build a club like that. Why, why do you think they actually open this club? They got a lot of money they wanted to spend on something. But I think it's very nice of you to keep on subsidising all their money. Losing operations, and you and the boys. Great. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, we've always. It was either that or the RSPCA, really. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you only opened the Hacienda to further your career as a disc jockey? Um, it's a good question, that. No, uh, I never really had a career as a disc jockey, anyway. <laughs> when it's empty, but there aren't enough dark corners and there's no back room. Yeah, that's, you think a club should be dark, a place where you can go and hide somewhere. I think there's got to be some sex and some threat. You think it's a good idea for a club to be owned by a record company? I, I would say that that depended on the record company. I think it's yeah. a good uh, thing that this club is owned by Factory, because Factory do have style and do have a very uh, distinct image and do, they do have style, yeah. I mean, I, th I should imagine if uh, K-Tel had opened the club, it would be a lot different. So, as a director of the Hacienda, do you think you could say that it's worked? The Hacienda's worked? Yeah. In some ways, the Hacienda's worked, yeah. As a director of the farm, do you think that's worked? Oh, yes. <laughs> the, the farm's worked uh, nearly as well as the Hacienda, in fact. It's how we get more people at the farm. Money. It's quite a miracle, really, I think. It's a miracle that we're still friends. It's a miracle I owe you £200,000 and you're, not, you're still in the bath with me. Are you still getting away? I'm still getting away. Listen, it's your fault. It's his fault from the bloody Hacienda. I tell you, God, I mean, the place is papered with bloody money. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Not my idea. I want to know what happens to all this money. You ought to make those of money and where, where does it go? Apart from well. down your necks. The factory and us as well have um, put money into the Hacienda anyway, so provided somewhere else for Manchester. Yeah, a bad investment. A lot of people are very frightened of coming to the club and saying we want to put a project on, and that's part of the factory image that is probably destructive as opposed to positive. Do you ever make mistakes? Do I ever make mistakes? Very 